Today we'll be talking about grid world and the depth insight seismic interpretation restoration workflow. With structural restoration, the depth insight software has a 3D finite element based technique to actually restore the geology back to its pre-fault conditions. In this particular workflow, we're going to be doing an integrated workflow from seismic interpretation through modeling and structural restoration. In this case, the interpreter will go through and interpret an upper horizon and faults. Then we will then create a structural model of that particular set of information. We will then restore that geology. And the unique thing is that we actually restore the seismic data that goes along with that restoration. This will make it easier for the interpreter to continue to, inf to interpret lower horizons and faults because the geology and seismic is placed back into pre-fault conditions. Again, here is just a more detailed example of what I was just speaking of. The interpreter has gone through and interpreted the red horizon and a few faults. He's also interpreted a green horizon just to give a bottom or base to the model. Below, you see the before restoration is a structural model of that particular original uh, state of the interpretation. On the right, you'll see that we have gone through our restoration process within Grid World's Depth Insight program to actually do a restoration of that red horizon, making it flat. And you'll also see that the seismic has been restored to this pre-fault condition. At the bottom, you will also see that structural model that we've done to remove all the tectonic activity in the data that was provided. Part of the program then is allows you to go through and then interpret more and more horizons deeper down where you can actually see across the faults much more clearly. In the final step, we actually do a back restoration of all the interpreted horizons and faults back to the restored section of seismic and the original data so that we can do quality control and validate that the restoration and interpretation was, was accurate. We will now go through a demo showing the basic steps of the, the workflow that I described. So first of all, the interpreter goes through and interprets the faults and, as you see in this diagram, the pink top horizon. He's also interpreted just a lower green horizon just to give it a bottom or base so that we have a unit. Here you can see the interpreted horizon points that were used in, in constructing this particular pink event that we were talking about. We then go through with Depth Insight software and build a structural model that you can see here is faulted and has fault throw in the actual structure itself. We then do a restoration which basically flattens the horizon and the unit with respect to geologic principles that we have applied to the restoration process. You'll see here in this cross section, we now have a flat pink horizon that's been restored. And you see that the lower part of the model, the seismic, has also been restored. The user or interpreter can now go through and interpret the next horizon, which is the yellow horizon that you see, and create a new seismic surface from that. The interpretation should be much easier because we have removed all of the fault throw um, that would be inherent in this, this particular surface if we were actually to interpret on the original seismic itself. So auto pickers or the actual interpreter should have an easier time in picking that next horizon. Here you see this new structural model on the yellow horizon. We will go through a restoration of this horizon. Here we see now the flattened horizon and we can then see that in section view here is the flattened yellow horizon with the faults. And again, this is just a repetitive process of we can continue to do horizon interpretation as we move down through the section. So here you see the light blue surface uh, has been interpreted and it's looking fairly flat at this point because uh, we've removed a lot of the fault uh, throw information that was inherent in the original seismic itself. Part of the, the process to end this is to back restore all the horizons back to the original seismic. So we've taken all the surfaces that you saw before, the pink, the yellow, the blue, 
restored it back into the original seismic volume. One of the things we did notice when we were interpreting this particular uh, seismic data set was this little yellow horizon in this one wedge block. Um, auto pickers and the interpreter were having a hard time identifying what was across the fault. But when we restored it back to pre-fault conditions, it was very easy to identify the unit across that fault boundary. And final, what we do is we then show the actual zones in its restored condition. So here you see each of the different units, the zones, in its original faulted state. With the process, what we can also do is we can actually run a movie and actually take a look at the restoration through a movie player. So here we're actually playing the rest restoration from unit to unit through the model going down deeper and deeper. We can actually play backwards through the restoration process as well, bringing us back up to current time. And finally, to close out, we would like to thank you for watching this video. And if you have any questions, please contact us. And you can look at our website at www.gridworld.com.cn. Thank you.